What's up my people? How on a day waiting they happen waiting this soap? Welcome back to our channel. Um someone sent me this message. They also want to hear your thoughts, you know, about this, right? It's, it's on business. So leave it in the comment section below what you think they could do in Nigeria um yeah let's let's go ahead okay but i have been in germany for about five years now and i'm planning on starting an investment back in nigeria from next year so i wanted your candid advice as to what could be a lucrative business that i could invest in uh, you can also ask your fans i would really like to know because i am your big fan oh thank you for that i just want to know um what you think personally that i should do and invest in when i visit nigeria next year so guys i'm sure the guy will be uh, waiting for your reply or your comments in the comment section below now today's reports let's quickly talk about anthony joshua and tyson fury so um, anthony joshua is down and ready to fight tyson fury uh anthony joshua just lost a fight but he said he will be ready in december do you think anthony joshua stand a chance honestly i'm a nigerian honestly I don't think so but i would be happy to see joshua beat this guy tyson fury but guys i'm skeptical about this i'm just being honest okay hey tyson fury here aka the gypsy king the wbc heavyweight champion of the world as you can tell um i think you've all heard that i'm going to be fighting uh, soon within the next few months and i think that before i announce an opponent that i need to do this just in case anthony joshua i know you've just lost a fight to usek and you're doubtless at the moment um and i'd like to give you an opportunity here we have bola ahmed tinumbu you know <clears throat> bola ahmed tinumbu um himself and peter will be they've been trending for over six months now now there's a video about bola ahmed tinumbu talking about oriental hotel because a lot of people call this man <laughs> even myself sometimes the landlord of lagos because they believe he owns a lot of properties and now bola Tunubu, of course is trending and of and you should expect old videos and new videos to pop up i think this is an old video but that's a video of bola Tunubu saying that all the properties they said i owned doesn't belong to me it's just all bull crap but they're just lying do you believe bola ahmed to them bro this was this video oriental hotel was a refuse dump miles you know of refuse along that corridor it took several months of excavation and great investment for those investors to take the risk the majority of those assets the claim are mine, not mine. I create economic path, a recovery path for Lagos. Wait, guys, like this video and subscribe. Yes, <laughs> subscribe. Let's go ahead. Okay, about the campaign, Bola Tinubu says, yeah, I stumbled on this video. I think I saw it yesterday evening. He said, lower the temperature. It's not the time to campaign yet. They will hear a lot from us. <laughs> You know, Bola Metinubu is really determined, right? And and I'm just thinking, like, you know, watching him on TV, it looks fragile, honestly, right? And and I'm thinking, like, are we really, really ready for this? A, a lot of people, his fans, seriously, still believe that. You know, Bola Metinubu is not about whether uh, whether he's strong or not. As long as his brain still works, it will do something and stuff but honestly i don't know if he's strong enough because nigeria problems too much but i'm not a politician so i will just leave that uh, for the politicians in the room lower the temperature it's not the time to campaign yes sir. they will hear a lot from us we are the party of progressive ideas we want good education for our children, good development for Nigeria, prosperity for this country, agriculture and agro-allied 
projects to be a backup one. But this door to door will give you a message. Tell them if they want to push problem, we are better at encountering them because we are thinkers. Lower the temperature. Talking about Mr. Chinwu's marriage. Now, people are beginning to say or advise Mr. Chinwu, please take your relationship off social media because the husband just got her <laughs> an SUV for her birthday. And she's super excited about it. Shared it on social media that my husband just got me a new SUV. And I noticed something. Some people wish that, oh, congratulations, we are happy for you, blah, blah, blah. Others were like, hmm, Messi Chinwu, you better be careful of this whole social media presence because you might get consumed in it and forget about yourself and your family, your well-being. Guys, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Happy birthday to Mercy Chen. I, I don't know, but these days we just we tend to quickly assume that you know people would might have issues in their marriage if they post a lot of these I mean gifts and pictures on social media. Moving on to the next one. Here we have uh, Maria Okan or Khan or something. Yeah, she's an OAP and Olamide's baby mama. She's, I mean, there's been a while now we got a report that, you know, there's a lady that's carrying Olamide's child and Olamide wants her to abort the child, but she refused. But this lady came out recently to say, okay, this is my truth and it is false. Nobody asked me to abort a baby. In fact, she described that as mother, like mothering a child. Well, guys, this is really exactly what she says. She says, good morning. Um, I was never offered i never asked nor did i receive money to murder a child um i heard that story for the first time when you all did when i was eight months eight months in um you say i made the wrong choice to carry life and i should have um, opted for mother well i love motherhood uh, she continues uh, your tr your trolling comments death threats and insult ah, on top of say you you born for all i <laughs> who can they threaten you i don't understand um all these uh, years have meant uh nothing lol we are doing well we are healthy we are making money and i guess your day is a that is kind of effing up you know so she's not even having it and that's why she's coming out to say maybe something has happened between herself and Olamide before coming out to say all these things that's what i think though because you were you kept mute all this while now what, what happened <laughs> said we are doing well okay um and for the record no one gave me any stinking money for an abortion um as a mother when you carry a child and deliver her by the grace of god you will know how insulting this is and has been at the time those nonsense stories came out i chose to focus on delivering my child since i had a high risk pregnancy and a fibroid that practically exploded a few months in but as she is safe and sound now there is no pressure we thank god uh well we thank god uh, for <laughs> you <laughs> you too <laughs> congratulations anyways Moving on to the next one. Guys, I, I don't know if you've noticed, right? Jehovah Witness, they hardly go out these days. Are they still out there? Do they still exist? Because we don't get to see them on the street again to preach. Or, or they just now just gave up on the world. Like, man, the world is so sick, toxic, bad. <laughs> that we don't have to stress ourselves anymore because it doesn't make sense they wouldn't change i don't know but uh let us watch this lady at first i felt like whatever she's doing doesn't make sense but thinking about it like seriously it's been a while i've seen those people on the streets let's watch so this is the kingdom hall of jehovah witnesses i am about to go in there and ask them what the hell is going on because i don't remember when last i saw any one of them knocking our doors to tell us about the coming of christ his sacrifice for us on the cross of Calvary. All the things that he did, they are not made. 
If they have gone to heaven, they have left us behind. It no go work. I say no work. Okay, guys, um, let's talk about the headies. Uh, headies. <laughs> the award headies. Davido, you know, congratulations to Davido Whiskey. This guy's uh, won awards. Oxlade. Um, Buju. Anyways, Portable called them out for not giving him an award. You know, he was disqualified. Yeah, even though he apologized and he went on the long rant. I don't know, Portable will always be Portable. When you consign me with the they give um, street artists of the year, your song, you, which song you sing? Is I sing? Since when you don't sing that song, you sing another one? Way blue? The kind of street give you? Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit of 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 KC, you know, um, calling his wife his girlfriend. First, mentioned his girlfriend. I mean, everybody knows that KC is married, and he was just like, "Whoa, what happened? Did he make a mistake?" Oh, uh, but he was like, "Yeah, my wife is my girlfriend." And, and I'm so excited, and I want to dedicate this to my family, my wife, my girlfriend, and my children. So. My wife is my girlfriend. And again, Tunde Ednot was also the person who presented the award to Whiskey's manager, Whiskey's award, one of the awards. And you know Tunde Ednot and Whiskey, you know their history. Tunde Ednot is really not a fan of Whiskey. You don't have to be obedient. And the award goes to Essence Whiskey. So in the news, I'm Kanye West. Uh, shout out to Whiskey Essence. That Essence is. Man, it's a blessing. And not just to whisk it. And Thames, you see some people, they don't really need to do much. Someone like Thames. Yes, I know Thames is like really working. It's not easy, right? But at the same time, I would say she quickly, you know, got that attention. Unlike other, other female artists. Just to essence. Again, I saw on this video. You remember we talked about Machala. That song, Machala. I watched this guy's interview, Kataifi, on Channel's News, the comedian who sang the song Machala. And seriously, right? Like, the guy is trying to dodge, you know, or shy away from that question. Like, what happened? It was like, he doesn't know what happened. Or the guy, waiting to happen. But I understand. If he's not really discussed, you know, in, within, he shouldn't put it out there. So I think something is just wrong. Your song can't just go down on social media i mean on apple music and you know you have no idea what happened you should have an idea of what happened but i understand i think they just want to um keep it low for now maybe there's an in a house issue going on and they just don't want to put it out there i i did not even know apple again safe why is that i don't even know i don't know i just i called the distribution guy yesterday i said why my song on the apple Say they are working on it, sir. They sent email to Apple. But Fair enough. On, but it's on all platforms, sir. Yeah. So what's going to happen to skit making now? Yeah, I'll continue doing my skit now. But anyways, the main problem here is the fact that these people 
left the whole Niger and went to Atlanta to organize this award show. And Nigerians are like, why would you leave your own country? And I was that is from Nigeria. You left the whole shores of Nigeria, Africa, and went to another man's land. Some people are not really happy with it. They said it really doesn't make sense in Atlanta. Why? Anyways, Buju got um, a gift. <laughs> Congratulations to Buju. That car is mad, like mad, like seriously. I, I saw a video of uh, this guy's sister as well, happy for, for him. Goya man, or I don't want to call him a one hit wonder. I'm hoping that he's gonna bring out something, he's gonna drop something real soon. Like, seriously, guys. Okay, another person that went on on long rants was Mastercraft, and I think Mastercraft deserve it. Mastercraft deserve awards. Hades, he said he's been ignored for a long time now, so it's okay for him to you know express his feelings. But Mastercraft is the guy that you know a lot of people respect in the industry but i don't think organizations actually give this guy his flowers mastercraft even he was the one who taught david Doe how to play the the piano you know mastercraft has worked or helped a lot of people's career he's helped them to blow he's done great um works production and all that so mastercraft deserves it so when i saw his rant I was like, it's a long time coming, oh God. There's no wrong here. Okay, guys, uh, let us move straight to the next one. I'm going to read this. This person, you know, shared this on social media. Guys, let me know what you think about this. Please keep me anonymous. I and my girlfriend are both AS, uh, but she doesn't know I'm AS. I don't want her losing interest in me as we both are madly in love with each other. I did my research and I heard there is now a way for both AS to have children without her giving birth to SS. But I don't know how true it is. I have been through lots of heartbreaks and this girl came into my life and everything changed for good. Please, what should I do? I really love her. I would advise you just leave. Because if you say you truly love someone, what about the fruits? I'm talking about the child that comes from you. <laughs> I'm sure you're really going to love that child and you don't want to lose that child. So that is even more torture. So save yourself the stress and save a life by not continuing the relationship. Moving on, here we have Nedun Woko's estranged wife. I wouldn't yeah, they are, maybe they are back together, I don't know, but Nedunoku is yet to say anything. Um, but seriously, maybe there's a reason for her to come. Maybe it's because of her kids. But yeah, this lady came on social media, said she's left this family, blah, blah, blah. But if you think about it again, maybe she just wants to like be with... She's got kids for this man. And she's now back with the man. And she said, this is to my entire Nedunoku family. I realized that I made mistakes. Uh, they were not intentional. I listen too much to um, outsiders and I have decided to apologize to my husband and other members of the family. I want peace and progress in the family. Well, some people said that, you know, 
the man made her to apologize others were like uh you know she's just broke she needs money that's why and this was what she posted then hello guys i just want to say that no one has the right to talk about my marriage please stop talking about uh people's life and i have divorced already and nothing between me and him and anybody follow me because of him you can unfollow me please thanks but now she's back so i don't know what could have happened saying she said they are divorced so <laughs> if you guys are divorced or you guys are in the process of doing that and, and now you okay guys that's where we're going to hold it thank you so much for watching again don't forget to like subscribe until we see you next time peace